Okay, so let's get started on the introduction and history of Java. Java is a general purpose object oriented programming language, and it was developed by Sun Microsystems in 1991. The goal for the development team was to make the language simple, portable, highly reliable, and powerful. Java also adds some new features. Java applications are typically compiled to bytecode that can run on any Java virtual machine, regardless of computer architecture. The language was initially called Oak by James Gosling, one of the inventors of the language. Later, the project went by the name Green and was finally renamed Java from Java Coffee. While C++ is a superset of C, Java is neither a superset nor a subset of C or C++. So let's take a look at its syntax. The syntax of Java is largely influenced by C++, but unlike C++, which combines the syntax for structured generic and object oriented programming, Java was built almost exclusively as an object oriented language. All code is written inside classes, and every data item is an object. This is with the exception of primitive data types, for example, integers, characters, and floating points. Java reuses some popular aspects of C++, such as the printf function method. Unlike C++, Java does not support operator overloading or multiple inheritance. This actually simplifies the language and it also aids in preventing potential errors and anti-pattern design. For classes though, multiple inheritances are supported for interfaces. In the next lecture, we're going to jump into the features of Java, so I hope to see you there.